wait. I almost said happy Friday and then I caught myself. I was like, wait, no, it's Thursday. It's not Friday yet. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I hope everyone is having a lovely Thursday. I'm here with creative partner, Lindsay Smith. Say hi, Lindsay. Hi. She's actually trying to pull up your guys' comments so that she can connect with you in the comments. Make sure to check, um, just let us know that you're joining us so that it, it kind of helps pull up the feed a little bit quicker, basically. So. I'm excited. Uh, I'm excited to see all of the samples that you have made with this. I'm not going to give it away too much. I mean, countdown calendar. It's it's super cute. I love it. So, are you able to see those, Lindsay? I think so. Yeah, I think I have it up here. Okay, cool. Yeah, and I see you that you already put some links in for us. Thanks, Susan. Yep, that principle that she'll share with you is in the description. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Perfect. Hey guys. So um, I'll just go ahead and get started. So for those of you that aren't familiar with our snap frame, it's like this really cool way to create decor in your home and like be able to change it out. And so I love the snap frame and I talk about it a lot. If you guys have ever seen me talk about stuff before, but I was messing around with my snap frame the other day and I was like, I really want to make a countdown calendar where I can um, count down to things I'm excited for. So this one right here is like countdown to summer, or you could count down to Christmas or whatever you have going on, but I wanted to make it reusable, um, even more so than this is already reusable and be able to kind of change the dates. Like, especially if you had kids or something, it'd be super fun because you can change out the numbers each day. So I looked at a couple different options. I was able to find like some sheet metal like this. The idea I had was to make it magnetic. So I found some sheet metal like this, but I didn't have a way to cut it. So then I had to, so um, you can see the magnet sticks to it. I didn't have a way to cut it. And so I wasn't sure exactly what to do because the backboard of this is like eight by 10. So then I was like exploring some different ideas and I thought, you know, no one's going to see it because it's going to be covered with paper. And so what I actually did is I got these metal washers. It's not very cute, but it's not going to be seen. Um, and you could actually just use one metal washer in one spot where you always were going to have the magnet attach like that. But for me, I wanted to make it even more changeable. So that way, like, for example, um, for this one for summer, you can put the dates here and the banner down here, but maybe like for the Christmas one, I want to put the dates down here. So that's why I made it so that the magnets, the metal pieces were everywhere. So like a couple tips, if you're not all metal is magnetic, weirdly enough. So you have to make sure I just took a magnet with me, but like, for example, aluminum is not magnetic and they have a lot of um, products like at Home Depot that are not magnetic. So just make sure take a magnet with you and you can see that when I put it in the frame, I'll have this kind of piece of paper in between, but the magnet will actually still stick to it, even though there is a piece of paper in between it. So super, you wanna make sure like the magnets that have like the adhesive on the pack, the strips, the magnet is not as strong. So I wouldn't recommend those. I would get these little kind of coin shaped ones and they will work perfectly. So I'll show you kind of what I'm planning on doing. So the idea would be, I have this little banner and this is using enchanted enchantment. Oh yeah, it's enchanted, which is one of the sets that's actually being retired. So it's a good one. It has a really great banner in it. Um, and so you can just trace around it to create kind of like an idea of what the countdown is for. So this one is our, my countdown to summer. So I'm going to attach the magnets to the back of it. And then, like I said, I can put it kind of anywhere I want to on here. Um, actually, Susan made this printable for us. Thanks, Susan. So it has a few different ones and there's a link so you can actually download it. So it says countdown to Christmas, to Disneyland, your birthday, summer and vacation. So if you were going just on a trip or something like that. And so the idea would be you could have this somewhere in your home and every day you would change out the numbers. So she actually made us a printable for the numbers. I, um, that's also attached, but these are different. These are just semi-created. 
Um, but I use the three by four for sizing, and then I'm gonna put two numbers back to back. So that way you can flip them. And we figured it out. It was kind of like a brain teaser <laughs> to figure out exactly what numbers you needed. So you could have a 30 day countdown, but Susan figured it out and she created those for you guys as well. So anyway, um, I'm gonna show you guys a little bit how I'm trying to be able to see your comments. It's like not, oh, here we go. Hello, everyone. Hello, hello. Uh, so let me know in the comments if you guys have questions or if this is making sense. And I'm gonna start to put this one together so you can see the final product and then we'll design one together for one of the other holidays as well. Guys, I had all these great plans. Am I still recording? I'm like frozen. Oh, there we go. Okay. And all these great plans, I was going to show you like three completed, but I'm leaving. I, I have a scrapbooking retreat this weekend actually in Tahoe. And I just ran out of time getting everything ready for that to um, finish this. So, but I'm going to show you guys kind of, um, we'll see how much we have time for it. They're pretty quick. So I'm just going to cut out my numbers and we'll start with that so I can show you exactly what I mean when I say that the numbers can kind of change back and forth. And I created a couple other embellishments that also I'll, you can either glue them down to the paper or you can make them magnetic as well. So it's just like super fun, especially like if you have kids or you're just like a person who, you know, likes to update the little calendar every day. Um, so let me show you. So I'm gonna cut out the two numbers. So just like on a calendar, you have like the 30th or the 20th. And so I'm gonna make one side is gonna say the two and then one will say the three. And then, like I said, Susan actually created all the numbers for you guys. So you will be able to download that and you can just print them. And then um, you can, use the same numbers for each calendar and then design like a new little background scene and then add on to that. I really need to get a new blade for my cutter. I think I say that every time. So anyway, so how many of you guys have the snap frame? Let me know in the comments. Hi, Susan. Hey, everybody. Thanks so much for tuning in. If you guys are like already, like, you know how you do like an advent calendar. How many of you guys like to count down to something fun that you have coming up. And if you have the snap frame already, let me know in the comments if you have the snap frame. So basically what I'll do is I have the two and then on the back side of that will be the three. Um, you can print these on like a fun color if you wanted to. I wanted to keep them pretty simple. That way, no matter the colors I change for the calendar, they'll kind of go with everything. Oh, tragedy. All right. Oh, no, in the cons. So yeah, I'm super excited to go up to Tahoe this weekend. It's been a while since we've had, I've done a retreat. I think it was last fall was the last one that I did. So I love to um, host them. If you're ever in the Northern California area, you guys should join us. It's super fun. Oh, thank you, Sharon. Yeah, I love the snap frame. I try to do a different one for each holiday or like month. So I kind of make like a cute little scene in my house. And when I was working on one for this month, I was like, you know, what would be fun is like the countdown calendar because then you can interact with it even more. So if you don't have a snap frame, there's a link in the, um, in the caption. You can check them out in the shop. It's really cute. So just to recap for people coming on, what I'm creating is a countdown calendar, and we have these printables that Susan created for you where you have the different things you could be counting down to. And the idea is that with magnets, it's gonna make it so it's like interactive. So each um, holiday or whatever, you can change it and you would change the dates based on um, like how many days you have towards that. And we did it for a 30 day countdown. So basically I'm gonna actually use a hot glue gun um, you don't need to, you could definitely use just like a normal adhesive, but for something like this, oh, well, wish no more. They're super affordable. So you should totally, um, get one, Lisa. 
Oh, thanks guys. I'm glad you guys like the idea. Okay, so I'm gonna use a hot glue gun. Whenever I'm doing the snap frame or any kind of decor, I do tend to use something a little bit stronger if I'm not like, you know, obviously if I'm putting like a picture, which was another idea I had with the countdown calendar, I thought it could be fun if you did like, um, like your numbers, you could put like a picture of like inside of the O or the zero, I mean, or just even add a photo of like um, wherever you're going. But anyway, we'll make a couple embellishments and you guys can um, see. The link to the download is in the actual caption. So if you go up to where it says like three, two, one, let's create a countdown calendar together. Underneath it, it says like see more, see less. And if you expand it, it says the link to the snap frames to purchase and then the printable download. And I'm gonna be making some more samples this weekend so you guys can see a couple more ideas. But the idea I had was to make the numbers so you don't have to have so many. Oh, thank you, Lisa. Um, so you don't have to have so many. I'm, and I would just keep these like in a Ziploc near wherever you're gonna display this item to make them um, double-sided. So there's enough numbers for you to do that. And I'm just gonna glue the magnet inside of it. So then I can just flip them over. So let me, I, like I said, I typically would only, what I would just use a, um, I would just use a regular adhesive for most projects, but for something like this that we're gonna be like touching all the time. And that is a little bit more that you're like wanting to kind of stay, um, I use. I'll use this um, hot glue for my frame stuff. Okay, so there you go. So you can see now if I was like being super picky, I would go ahead and trim it, but I don't actually like hate it the way that it is. I just, um, and you could use a flatter magnet. The only thing that I was saying at the beginning is the adhesive magnets that are like the thin ones, they're not as strong of a magnet. And especially since it's going through all this paper, I wanted to use these ones that they are thicker, but it kind of almost makes it look like a pop-up. So you would just put your date on here and then you would just change it. If it was now like two days to whatever, you can just change them and, um, yeah, I kept them just simple with black and white because I'm also have all these different themes, but you could also with these add more color or do them on a color piece of paper as well. Um, but for me, I just was going to keep it like this. So because these are kind of a little wobbly, I am going to put some foam pop up dots in here just to kind of make sure it's all stuck together and you know, a little bit more secure if I brought some down with me. Of course I didn't. That would be like way too on top of things. So then with this one, with the banner, um, when you, if you purchase the Enchanted Banner, Susan actually, because this item is being retired, she actually went in and she has in the download one that's already, like this shape is already there. So even if you are catching this on a replay in the future, you can still get the banner. Even if it's, um, if it's not in the shop, you can actually just the actual download houses on here. So you can see it has these kind of guidelines on here where you're gonna draw with your pen to give you the look that you have the full banner. So let's see. I'm like not that great at this, by the way, but we're gonna try. So I think it's kind of gonna go in like this. I should have just done the one that was already printed for me, right guys? But I'm trying to be adventurous. Maybe not use this pen in the future. That's fine. Try not to be like too picky when I'm making things because it's supposed to be art, right? So anyway, um, you can just draw these lines in to give it more of an actual dimension. And now if you're like me and you're terrible at drawing lines, then you can kind of fill it in because it looks terrible. Oh, snap, I like the snap frame. Okay, so you can see how that kind of finishes the look. 
Yes, exactly. So the paperweight, this is just cardstock, but like the paperweight is pretty thick. This is pretty thick. So in order for the magnet to really work, it will like, it won't come off, like it's gonna stay, but to make it really make sure, I, I would use like a heavier magnet for sure. This already is like the glue dried, dried too fast for the thing. Okay, so anyway, but I'm gonna probably do like some foam pop-up dots in the corners just to give it a little bit more stability. So it's like really just like a solid piece, but you guys get the idea. So now I'm gonna try to do this corner as well. As I said, my skills are not that good in this drawing area, freehanding. And I'd probably recommend using a little bit of a smaller pen, but we don't have, I don't have that, so I'm just gonna go with it. All right. So how's everybody's Thursday going? I like to have Susan said almost said happy Friday because it does feel like that this week is like, is it really not over yet? It felt like it should have been. But I'm doing something fun this weekend, so I don't mind waiting one more day. All right, let's see. So then I'm just gonna go in and try to make my lines a little bit more smooth. But like I said, Susan did one of the principles she provided already has all these lines on it. So you can just print it out. There you go. I think it looks better from you guys, your point of view than from mine, but same thing. I'm just gonna take my magnet and I'm going to add it to this thing. And I think I'm gonna use two just because again, it'll just give it that much more stability. So then I will just be able to stick it right here. And it says, count down to summer. Pretty cute, right? And then let me finish with my other numbers. And then I made this little sun and I'm actually gonna make this a magnet too, but you wouldn't have to. So like you could completely glue everything down and make this back piece almost as like a scrap of page. So like, this is what it always will look like. And you could even glue down the banner and you could just have the numbers be changeable. But otherwise, um, for me, I think it's more fun to have more moving parts. And so, you know, that way you can play around with it a little bit more, but it's totally not necessary. You definitely could just do it as like more of a solid standstill piece. It would still be great. Okay. So I'm gonna cut the numbers out and they're gonna be for the other side. So like I said, Susan provided numbers for you guys too. And so the numbers will really make it so you guys are able to kind of um, place them. There are enough numbers for you to do a 30 day countdown is what we, how we planned it. And I just used the photo, the photo size of a three by four photo. So if you don't have our photo set, you can just cut around them, but that's what they were designed for is like this three by four photo. Um, and that way they're kind of consistent. And then you, um, I, I think you can change up your photos as well. Sorry, you can change your, if you want like a different font or whatever, you can do something different, but there is one in there that Susan created. So when you do your numbers, you really only need to make the numbers one time and then every season or whatever you create for, you would just change them out. So now you have the other two. So you can do like 30, 30 days or you could say 20 days left and you would just have just enough of these like kind of in a Ziploc to create, um, to change out for each for a 30 day countdown, if that makes any sense. And I was thinking it'd be cute if you have like a photo. So like you could even say like, okay kids, let's get, like what is one thing you're excited about for summer? And you could have them take a photo doing that or whatever, and they could put a magnet on it and put it on the board too. So they're like counting down to something they're excited about. And I think that would be really cute. So for the back thing, I actually used the paper from our most recent um, Kiwi Club, 
don't know if you guys recognize it, but that's what the paper is from. So if you're not a part of the Kiwi Club, you can always join anytime. And um, if the paper is still available, you can actually still purchase old kits too, which is pretty cool just by joining now. It's not too late, but it's a really cute um, paper kit. Really got me in the mood for summertime for sure. So check that out. And then there is a couple different Kiwi Club options. I'm sure, let me know in the comments if you're already a member, but they do have this really fun one called Create a Club where basically you get all the same savings, but you don't have to purchase specific items. So like, if you're like, you know, I wanna see the club first. I don't wanna just be surprised or whatever. You, um, you're, cr you create a credit for yourself and you can spend it however you want. So you can spend it on paper. Um, you could spend it on the Kiwi clubs, but you can also spend it on other items in the shop. So like when there's a new release, but you get all the benefits of like shopping early and the um, and the 10% discount, you get all the benefits. So if you are like kind of on the fence about the commitment of the Kiwi Club, you should definitely check out the Creative Club because that's a really good one that everyone can use. So see, you can be like two days to summer. So fun, right? So we're gonna use, of course, the Lindsay template. If you guys don't know, this was designed for me my template and then these cute sunglasses that came in the last set and we're going to make it so that the sun is kind of wearing the sunglasses which I think is really fun so I already traced this before so we'll just cut it out really quick and then we'll be able to maybe add I don't know do you guys think I should add I was thinking of adding like a pinwheel if you see there's a pinwheel here um I was thinking of adding one because I love the pinwheel and we can do the folding and kind of add that here. Or I was thinking we could add something else. I have from our set called Seaside, some of these little items. So there's like a little fish. So I thought maybe we could put like a cute little fish in the water. And what I did is I actually used um, Cascade Trails. There's so many really fun ones with this wave shape. The new template that just came out has a really like a more subtle wave. And then uh, there's a, a border set that I don't remember the name of right now. That's all waves. If you guys know the one I'm talking about, put it in the comments. So what I actually did is I actually cut the top paper instead of the bottom one. And so the blue could be kind of more of like a background sheet. And I just laid that on top. I really love this paper. I think it's super cute. So you guys let me know in the comments, do you think I should add like a couple of fish or a pinwheel or any more shapes while I'm cutting out the sun? You guys let me know if you think we should keep it more simple or if we should add more and then we'll design one together for another holiday. You guys can pick which one you want to design. Oh, okay. Sometimes I'm like, okay. Got to get in the cutting mode. <laughs> Does anyone else have to like be in the right state of mind to cut well? Or is that just me? Anyway, I really love this shape because it's an easy one to cut because there's so many straight angles. This makes it a little bit faster. I really have been excited to a fish and a pinwheel. Uh-oh, okay. Um, I've been really excited for summer. We are setting up, we just have like an above ground pool for our backyard. So I love it though, because uh, after work, sometimes it's just so hot and it's nice to just go and swim a little, a little bit in your backyard. Um, what about you guys? Do you, what's your one thing you're most excited about for summer? Or maybe you're not a summer person and you're like, I, I personally love the fall. That's my favorite season, but I do love vacation in summer. I love um, the sunshine and being outdoors. I love going camping. So there's a lot of stuff to be excited about. So we've got two fish boats and one pinwheel. Does anybody else think we should add anything else? If you don't think we should add anything, you can just say, keep it simple or something like that in the comments as well, that's fine. And if you're watching this on replay, Thanks for watching. And you know, you can comment along as well. I always try to come back and check the comments later. All right, so we have our sun done. 
And this is a good one to talk about like distressing because there's so many weird angles. So the first thing I do is I just do all the obvious places. I just go around and do this very outer edge first. I'm trying to distress an object that's a little bit more challenging. So you can see on here, I left quite a bit of pencil. I don't really worry about that because with the distress, it just looks fine. So once I have that done, I'm gonna actually bend the shape and just go right in there and get all the angles and then just go to the next one. So you just wanna kind of bend it and then you can get in there without getting too much on all the different edges. Key. Ooh, flowers and gardens for Debbie. That's what she's excited about for summer. That's good. Um, the key with this kind of a thing is you just want to make sure to not care that much. <laughs> like if you're a perfectionist, using distressing can be kind of stressful because it's definitely never going to be like exactly perfect. So the less you care, the better for everyone. Okay, so you can see now it has like that distress. It just gives it like a really nice finished look. And then it also um, is gonna cover any of your pencil marks. So we have our little sun. And like I said, I'm gonna make him magnetic too, so that there's just like more movement. So then you could put the numbers over here. We could put the sun down here. We could literally do it any way we want. We could put the numbers down here. We could put these two up here with the sun, like this, countdown to summer. And then put these down here. I kind of would like these on the top because you can't see as much of the wave if you have them on the bottom, but you can do it however you want. So I think I'm going to use um, for the glasses for the outline. I'm going to do maybe uh, oh, Alexa thinks I'm talking to her. No, Alexa, not yet. I'm going to use, I think, this one. It's a fun pattern. And then I'm going to use black for the um, insides. The, the printables that they sent with our last um, kit, it, they are, um, they're cute too, but they are, they're like, make it so there's words in the shades and things like that. And they turn out really cute too. But for this one, I'm just gonna do the black. So I'm just gonna trace it. And I'll show you guys a little tip with this. Like a lot of times when you see something with a cutout, you think you're gonna to have to like exacto knife or something in the inside, but no, you just cut out whatever those spaces are with a different pattern. I'll show you guys what I mean in just a second. All right, here we go. So tell me in the comments, if you could choose something to make a countdown banner for, what would your countdown banner say? Like I have Christmas, Disneyland, birthday, vacation, and summer. What's another one we can do? Maybe we can convince Susan to make us some more banners with different sayings on it. What would be some other ones? Tell me in the comments and we'll see if we can get her to make some more. You guys have to promise to show me your samples. So that way we can see how you use them. So let's see. All right, so we have our little sunglasses. Perfect. And I'm just gonna distress them again. And then I'm gonna cut out the black for the sunglasses. All right, let's see. Here we go. I know it looks really busy, but I think that once I cut the black out that it won't be so crazy. We'll see. All right, we'll see. Well, someone's going on a cruise. Okay, last day to, of school, count on to beach time, graduation. These are all great suggestions. I like the graduation one. That would be really cute for this season. And then, okay, so I just got this little piece of black paper and I'm just going to take this and place it on top. And I'm gonna trace out my lens and I'm just going to cut the lens and then put that on top of here if that makes any sense so instead of trying to cut these out you're actually just going to place whatever you're doing on top so I don't know if you guys ever noticed but lenses are typically kind of almost like a brown black so I'm actually going to put some distressing ink on top of these to 
kind of give that more color of a real lens. We'll see how it looks. All right, so you cut one out. And I'm just going to use this background paper. And I'm going to just put a little bit of distressing on here, just give it a little bit more of like a brown color. And then I'm going to, so what you do is you're going to take the glasses and you place the template back on top so you know where to place it. And then you're just going to slide the lens right in where it would go, just like that. <clears throat> and then you can see now it starts to look more like glasses. And then I'm going to do the same with the other side. So I think we will make a pinwheel and we'll do a couple little fish. What color do you guys think I should use for the fishes? I need some more suggestions. I thought like a countdown to Halloween would be cute. But maybe instead of saying Halloween, you could put like countdown to trick or treat or countdown to spooky Halloween. I don't know. Um, you could do like a end of uh, back to school one, like countdown to the first day of school. That would be kind of fun for September. So I really feel like you could come up with quite a bit of options with the countdown. So I think they're really fun. And I think with the magnets, it just makes it even like, like I love decor. That's one of the reasons I like the snap frame so much is because I love holiday and seasonal decor, but I hate having to buy so many different things for it, but also to store it all is really a hassle, you know, to have to have all these bins for all the different seasons and things like that. Guys, I feel like my left one, I cut way better. Look how sad this one is, but maybe you can't tell in the picture. I don't know. I might have to recut this other side. It's a little, it's a little wobbly or whatever you would say. Um, maybe you can't tell as much in the picture, but all right. I don't need to recut it, I guess. We'll see. Anyway, but yeah, I think it's a really fun way to just like, I was actually reading this article the other day and was talking about how having like holiday decor and traditions and things like that with your family really creates um, like a special bond with your children and that it actually can help your kids to feel more grounded and they do better. There's like some statistics and stuff because they are connected to those traditions, which I thought was really interesting. I just thought it was like fun to make things look cute, but actually it has like a purpose behind it. It's kind of like, you know, when people say like scrapbooking is cheaper than therapy, because of course it's like good to like archive our memories and to have a hobby and to use, but there's actually like a lot of benefits to using that side of our brain into creating which is a pretty cool. All right, so here we go. I redid it because it was just a little bit too wonky for me. So now we have our little sunshine guy and he's ready to party. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and glue this guy together. I think I might give him a smile. I don't know, we'll see. One of those things where if I do it, I better, I have to commit because otherwise, I don't know, you know. It could look good, could be terrible. But once I draw it on there, I'm stuck with it. Hi, Charlene. I'm so glad you're here. We're working on a countdown calendar. Um, and I'll kind of review that in just a second. Okay, the smile happened. So hopefully it's a good one. It was a good choice. I don't know yet. I suppose if I really hate it, I could recut it, but I don't know if I would do that. Oh, I don't know. What do you guys think? Smile, is it okay? I'm gonna add a couple of magnets for him. And then we'll do our pinwheel. So I think for this guy, maybe I'll just do one magnet. All right. So there's our sun looking cool. And we have our numbers 
So now we'll do a pinwheel. So actually in the last video I did, we talked a little bit about pinwheels and how to cut them and trace them and different things. So we're gonna use this same pattern paper here um, is a perfect one for something like this because the pinwheel, um, I'm gonna fold it. And so you'll see how when you fold it, it shows like a little bit of the internal, not internal, how do I say this? It shows like both of the different pattern papers and it looks really cute when one side is patterned and one side is more solid. These are my favorite to use. Okay, here we go. If my husband just like barges in, I didn't remind him that I was doing this and I'm using my phone to talk to you guys. So he might just like come in singing. You never know what to expect. So you're going to go ahead and you're going to cut your pinwheel out and you can use your pinwheel just flat. That's totally a cute and fun option. But I'm going to show you guys how to fold it, which is also a good way to add like dimension to your projects and things like that. What do you guys think we should do for the color for the fish that we're gonna put in the ocean? Anyone have any ideas for what color to use? I was kind of thinking of doing like this reddish color for the fish, but I haven't decided yet. So let me know what you guys think from different colors in, in the pattern paper, what would be a, a good color to use? All right, let's see. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and um, you're going to use your distress ink first before you start folding it and you're just going to do the edges and again like I told you guys just fold it a little bit if you need to get into a hard to reach corner. And then work your way around all the edges. And then whatever color you want to show more when you're going to fold it you're going to have that color away from you. So I'll show you what I mean. So for this one, I kind of want this color to show more in the orange to be a little less obvious. So I'm gonna put this pattern paper away from me. I'm gonna actually distress this side as well a little bit. You don't have to go all the way into the inside on this because when you, the way I'm gonna fold it, it will have kind of a center, like almost like a flower center, like a circle. So you don't have to get too crazy because that will be mostly covered. So I'm gonna place it this way. And then I just start with the longest point and I'm just gonna fold it in to the center, just like that and just pinch it down. And then you're gonna follow the pattern, putting that same corner in on each of the sides. And then what I like to do is to take my pencil after I've done this and kind of round this fold out a little bit just to give it a little bit more dimension. Ooh, that's a good one countdown to Thanksgiving. I like that. Red might be a good match. Thanks, Charlene. Ooh, a royal blue. Well, that would be kind of cool too, like a blue fish, red fish, blue fish. So once I have all my points done, I actually am gonna open up the pinwheel and you put the adhesive on the tip that you're gonna fold down. And then you're just gonna almost like push just the corner down because you kind of want this to pop open. You guys can see, you want that to stay kind of 3D. So you just put your adhesive here. And then when you push it down, you only want like the tip to be glued down. You don't want it all to be glued down flat. That gives it more kind of motion almost. I don't know, more of a 3D look. All right. <clears throat> and then you're gonna do this one as well and push down just to keep it more open. And then you're done and you have your pinwheel. So you could leave it like this, but I like to put like a punch, use a punch and do like a cute color in the center. So let's see what colors we have to use. Um, all right, so I think I'll use this red for the fish. Um, maybe we'll use this for our center too. So we're just gonna do a little punch. And then I just always, of course, make sure the edge has a little bit going on. And then you have your pinwheel done. So now we could take our pinwheel, 
and put that right in the center. Usually I use a, um, usually I use a pop-up dot, but you don't need to. But you can see, it's not so cute. I love all the dimensions of it. So you could take it and just put it like kind of glued on here like this, just kind of give this more of a fun element. Or you could put a magnet on it, just so it's like its own thing. I am going to just glue it to the side for this time. Um, I'm just gonna kind of put it right here. So now our little sign is a little bit, there's a little bit more going on. Countdown to summer. So then um, the little fish we have, this is the fish we were talking about for those that didn't see it before. This is from Seaside, that's the set. You can also do like popsicles, which we got a popsicle set in a kit last summer. You could do flowers, you could do the pineapple. We do have a little pineapple also in the Seaside set. But I think we're gonna just do like a cute little fish and we'll give him a smile too. And we'll do him out of this red. There we go. And then let me know in the comments as I'm finishing this one up, what is the countdown you think we should make together? So I pulled paper so we could do either Christmas, Disney, birthday, which one would you prefer? So Christmas, Disney, or birthday, and we'll make the, that countdown, we'll design it together and then cut everything out. You guys let me know in the comments while I finish cutting out the little fish. All right. I did pull paper for each one of those and then you guys can help me to design it. I also think I'm going to use one of our um, templates that just was released, one of the placemat templates for the um, for the count, next countdown that we do. So that'll be kind of fun to show you a different way you can use those with your snap frame. Oh, one vote for Christmas, one for Disney. So we need some more votes, guys. So let me know in the comments which one you think because we have two votes and they're for different things. <laughs> so let me know what you guys are thinking. I was thinking if we did Disney, we could do like a cute little Mickey head, um, which is kind of fun. I, uh, we moved, but we used to live in California. And so we were, I was super excited to hear that Disneyland is opening soon, which is so fun. Um, I have a lot of friends that went to Disney World this year as well. So the Disney is a really fun one. And of course, we always count down to Christmas. Like most people do have like an advent calendar, but this could be if you don't have one or if you're wanting to get a different style, this could be a good one for that. Hi, Linda. Linda says Disney. So we got three votes for Disney. So, okay, that's winning. If you have a different um, choice, let me know in the comments. And I'm just going to put our little fishy on here and then this one will be done. So basically you would, and I'll show you guys with the frame and everything. So you can get multiple frames and you can paint them different colors. I just have my one frame and I just get these boards. I just buy the boards and um, change out the, the, that. And I always tell people, if you've ever seen me do one before, I usually decorate both sides. So like this will be my magnetic side, but then see this whole side I could use for a different design. That way every board I do at least two designs on. And sometimes I'll just decorate a piece of paper just like this. So that way I can have an even more designs. So typically, unless I'm gonna be using like these lines, cause there's another one that has another pattern on it. I'll just do the paper and then I can use the same board over and over. And I'll show you guys a little bit of a trick with that too. Um, but yeah. Re recap for you guys if you weren't here at the beginning, but let me finish my little fishy. We'll give him a little eyeball and a tiny smile. Maybe a bigger eye. Fish for life. All right. So we'll make him into a magnet. So again, like if you had, yes, so Linda, I'll show you, I'll do the, I'll do a little review. For those of you that are just tuning in, basically I have this metal sheet. Oh, I had to show you guys, but the problem was I couldn't cut it. Like when I tried to cut the metal, you can buy sheets of metal at 
Home Depot Lowe's. The problem is when I tried to cut the metal, it was very jagged. And so unless you have like a special tool to cut mat, uh, metal, I wouldn't recommend the sheets because they don't sell them. Just remember that all metal sheets are not magnetic. So you wanna make sure that you test it out first and make sure it's a good thing. The little strips, the magnetic strips that have the adhesive on it are a little lower profile, but they are not as strong. So I recommend using these because we are literally have a piece of paper in between it. And as someone pointed out before, Kiwi Lane's paper is pretty thick. So basically the idea is that um, you would have your numbers and I put two numbers back to back, but you could do them individually as well. And so you could say it's 30 days to summer. And then each day you would change your numbers out. You could just have them in like a little bag and then you can move them around. And um, I actually put the magnets. Um, I have used magnetic paint before when I used to try to make like magnet boards. It is not very strong. So especially having the paper in between, I think you would need something a little more. So you could literally just use one washer and just be like, I'm always going to put my um, I'm always going to put my numbers in the same spot, but I put them everywhere so that you can move the stuff around and it doesn't matter. Like literally your kids could just play with it and be like, let's put this up here and our sunshine over here and put our numbers down here, right? You can change it up every single day, whatever, it just makes it a little bit more, um, fun. So I will give you guys one tip. So the way that the um, boards work is there's a little tiny piece of metal right here in each corner. Sorry, these are magnets. And then this has a metal corner on each of these. So when I'm using them and I am putting, and so it just literally snaps in. That's why they call it a snap frame snap, just like that. And then you can put it on your shelf. So when I am using these and I'm using paper, sometimes it won't get as good of a hold if the piece of paper covers these. So sometimes I will just take them and I'll just cut a little away in the corners because you can't see it. Um, so if you're having that problem, that's what I would recommend. So it's hard to kind of show you guys, but basically what you would do is you would make a different kind of background sheet for each holiday. You would put this down your background sheet, background sheet down and you would snap it in to the frame. Uh, Brenda, the, this is all available for sale in shop. So the frame and these backing, these boards are available in the shop as well as some kits that go specifically with them. So I make these frames for like all the holiday decor, everything. And I just like scrapbook a page and put them in here. I had to try to do one for every month. And then I put them on a shelf with some little holiday decor. And then I just came up with this idea to make these a little bit more interactive and I put the magnets. So now with this board here and the magnet or the metal pieces, now I just snap it in and then all of my elements are magnetic. So I can say, okay, we'll put the banner here. We'll do, we'll do it like this. And then we'll have our little fish and he'll be kind of like jumping out of the water. And then I'll put my numbers over here and my son here, or you can change it up. See, so it's 30 days to summer. And then every day you would um, have like your kids or you would change out your numbers. And so I just put them in like a Ziploc to have nearby. So that's kind of the idea is that with each holiday, so Susan created these little countdowns for us and they pair perfectly with the um, banner from Enchanted, but she actually went ahead and she just put, when you go to the download, it actually already has this traced out. There's one without it and then there's one with it. So you can just lay your template on top. So let's make one together. Oh, you guys can help me to design it. Um, it might go a little over an hour, um, but we'll just put the design together and we already have our numbers ready. So we'll just do our little elements. So I think the most that we had was voting for Disney. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Oh, we have one more. So two Christmas and three Disney's. So we're going to go with Disney. 
Um, so I'll show you the paper I have and I'll show you how I'm going to design my background sheet. And then I'm going to you make sure I have a space for my numbers and then my banner, and then we can kind of add a couple elements. Now you don't have to make these magnetic. You could just make the only things magnetic, the numbers. And literally you could just put the magnets here and then put the metal just behind the numbers and everything else could be stagnant. But I like a little bit more fun and interaction. So that's why I made more things magnetic, but it's up to you guys. So now I'm going to put my little elements. I would just take all these and this and just put it in like a Ziploc and then I'm ready for summer. Zoop. You see what I mean? I hope this is making sense to everybody. So I'm going to make a couple more samples. I'm just going to do Disney with you. And then hopefully this weekend I'll have time to do the other ones. And then I'll, um, I'll send in the photos. So I'll put them in the blog post, but I would love to see what you guys make. And, and I'm going to, Susan said, depending, you know, on, level of interest. If you guys are interested, she'll do more of the banners and maybe we can do some for fall and different stuff, but let's do Disneyland countdown to Disneyland. Okay. <laughs> Let me grab my paper. So I have this really cute paper from it's a simple stories collection. I think it's a little bit older. I'm not sure it's called say cheese. So they have these really fun stars and then I have some yellow cardstock and then this one. So I was playing around with um, our little, because of the sizing of these placemats, I thought they would be really fun. Um, Cause you can see here, I'm just turning it over cause the magnets are a little bit distracting, but this is like the size we're working with. So I was like, well, oh, this is kind of fun. We could use the placemat and these kind of are almost like the numbers. And then we could put the banner underneath and, and utilize this cute little scallop or the other placemats we have, we could also, use. Um, we have this one, which is a little bit bigger. So we could use this one, which also fits inside of here. So these are both well sized for the frame. So I thought this is kind of fun one too. And we could put our numbers here. And then um, you could put like a picture here or like a Mickey Mouse or something like that. But I thought that it would be fun to implement using the placemat. So let me know in the comments which one you guys like better. Should we use this placemat here with the scallop or should we use this one with this large, um, what would you call that? I don't know. What did they call it on here? Oh, they just call the placemat. This more of like a plaque shape. Which one do you guys prefer? Let me know and I will start working on it. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to layer maybe i'll just use like a sheet of black paper as like a good back back piece so everything can kind of lay on top of it um okay so i think the larger ones so charlene says the larger ones that's good it's a different one the other one had kind of almost like a scallop vibe so that would be good so for my background you don't have to do it this way, but I'm just going to use this just to make it so it all sticks together easily since we're going to be layering. And this is another reason why I would recommend using a heavier duty magnet because with this having, you know, in some places a couple of, oh, you guys all want the larger one. Okay. With this having in um, a couple of places, the paper layered a few layers thick, we'll definitely want like a higher powered magnet. So first we'll just cut this. I just kind of did a rough mark on where the, um, the dimensions of my back piece, my background piece. And then we will start working with the placemat, which I think is gonna be really fun. So I think we'll do the words with this um, as the bigger piece of placemat just the full background. And then we can add some of the, um, we can do the tags and stuff with some of these other colors. So all I'm gonna do is just line up my template. These are like, have, if you haven't worked with these yet, they're actually really cool. They're actually a little bit heavier than the templates, which is nice. So we'll just go ahead. I just line up the one edge and then we'll trace it. really quick. 
So these are really cool. If you sometimes feel like you need a little bit of help designing your layouts, these are really helpful and um, they're awesome. Actually, um, Sandy Grant did a really cool class with like a mini album using them the other day. She's one of my faves to watch create stuff. She's so, has so many great ideas. She's a really nice person too. Um, but anyway, okay, so we're gonna go ahead and we're going to just trim it. You can't really see it on the, the uh, camera, but there is a line here, I promise. I'm not just like an amazing freehand um, artist. <laughs> Can you imagine? No, that's not true. I do not cut well by myself. All right, so here we go. This way I always try and line up at least one edge if there's a straight edge to the straight edge so I don't have to cut it because that's annoying. So the Enchanted set was actually, is actually kind of has like a, a Disney vibe to it. If you guys don't have it in your collection, it's really fun. It has like a really cute like magician's hat. So sometimes I'll use the Mickey Mouse a la carte which is the Mickey Mouse, it's called the critter, little critter or something, but it's basically Mickey Mouse head shape. And I'll put the little, there's also like a crown in it. It's a really fun one for kind of all your Disney or magic themed sort of thing. Okay, here we go. So see how good that looks already? I'm obsessed. Let's just leave it like that. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I really do like this though. Okay, where's my distressing? So it says in the comments, Kathy says, Disney's my happy place. We are going in 43 days. So exciting. So I actually um, have a friend that just came back from Disney World and she was showing me the pictures from there. It was so fun. I was like, I really want to go, but I don't know if it's going to happen this year, but we'll see. Maybe, maybe, maybe still have half the year. We used to go, I used to live in, I grew up in Las Vegas, that's where I'm from. And we used to have season passes, even as like, this is not when I was a kid. This is when I was like in my twenties working and going to school. Me and my friends, we had season passes and we would go like once a month. So I love it. I love everything about it. It wasn't very far of a drive. So we would just go for the weekend. Now it's a little bit further away, but. It's really good. Okay, here we go. So you can see how this really against the black is like so nice with the frame. So we'll kind of put the placemat sort of in the center. And then what I'm thinking is we'll emulate this sort of like tag situation. So I wanna do, I'm thinking I wanna do almost like a large, oh, that's not gonna stand out enough. Hmm. Maybe we'll do the yellow is like the longer, bigger tag. So it says here that you use tiny tags. So if you have that, you would actually be able to just trace this exact size. Uh, let me see if I brought it downstairs. Some of my templates, I don't know if I have tags with me. Mm -hmm. Elements, pets. I can't see it in here. I might've used it on my last project and not put away. That's like a classic Lindsay thing to do. Hmm. Well, I think I, I think I can just wing it. All right, so let's see. So this measurement is, this. So the measurement for the tiny tags is about one and a half. So I'm gonna do a strip that's one and a half inches. Then I'm going to lay across. So I'm going to put it behind here so I know the measurement of how long I want it to be. It's a little bit smaller, so I would say it was probably a little bit. Um, it was probably more than one and a half inches, maybe like almost two. But anyway, it's fine. So I'm just going to kind of put a mark here where I want it to end. And then I'm 
you can literally just kind of freehand it by just kind of cutting in, but I'm actually gonna use this to just kind of help me as a guide. I'm gonna center it right here inside of this. And then I'm just going to draw the lines. That way I can make sure it's more, you know, centered and stuff like that. And I'll just follow that as a guide. So I'm just gonna center it. And then go like this. Okay. So now I have one banner piece. We do have our um, printable. So we'll have to incorporate that. And then you guys will have to help me to decide what other elements I wanna put on here. I have this really fun sticker sheet, which I thought would be kind of cool to use. And so we'll see what we can use from there too. But there we go. Okay, so you guys let me know in the comments, like we could do like a star, we could do a little Mickey Mouse head. What other like elements would you guys like to see? I feel like this is not the same size the whole way. Oh, please, while I check my cutting. Um, one and a half. Yeah, that's definitely not the same. Okay. One and a quarter. Um, that looks weird. Okay. Guys, how's it going? You guys are quiet out there. I need more help with my design. Help me, please. I'm not very good at making decisions on my own. It's a real weakness for me. All right. So I do like this layered tag look. So we'll use the other template for the skinnier tag. And we'll do another thing. So I'm kind of thinking the way we would design it is that the numbers kind of go up here where these other photos are. So they'll go at the top, like so. And then we'll have the words. So we'll have this guy underneath, kind of like that. And then we'll have the actual banner that we need to cut out, this one. Count down to Disneyland, kind of layer on top of that. And then maybe we'll do even like a red one for the, for underneath. I don't know, what do you guys think? And then I have all these fun stickers. I was kind of thinking so of using the castle kind of in the center here where it says like happiness starts here. It's kind of cute. We have this little Mickey Mouse ear we kind of put over in one of the corners. Let me know what you guys think in, this, in the comments. I'm gonna go ahead and distress this guy. I think I'm gonna just glue down the banner on this one because it is so specific. And then this one, it will be a good example of how you could literally just change just your numbers. Whereas the other one had so many like moving parts. This one will make it more um, static and where it's more just you're moving the numbers around. How's that sound? So I'm kind of thinking about doing this guy and then maybe then this will be layered here. And then we'll do a red one, just kind of on the corners. How do you guys like that? And then maybe we'll put the Mickey Mouse ear kind of off to the side here. I do like the castle. I think the castle would be cool to add if I can figure that out. I mean, we could put the castle kind of here. Let's see what we can do. So I'm gonna use this little piece here to create some little red. I don't know if this is the right color red though. No, I think that's okay. I think it matches well enough that I don't have to go upstairs and get different red. Oh, you love the stickers. Thanks, Kathy. I love them too. This paper line is really fun and they come out with, I swear they do one every single year, <laughs> really, honestly, where it's a different, um, it's like this, it's all Disney, but it's just like a little bit different. So let's cut this out. And then we'll add a couple stickers. 
But like I said, if you were designing this, you could make all these pieces movable. That's totally cool idea. And then you would just um, have the same flexibility of the first one I showed you. Or this one, we're gonna make it where it's more stay in one place, you know, more standstill. And then we'll see, you can see kind of two different examples. All right. This will go pretty quick though. I think we'll be done in the next 15 minutes or so. This paper line is called Say Cheese. So it's literally like Say Cheese number one, Say Cheese number two, Say Cheese number three. And this is line number three. And this is from Simple Stories. That's the company that designed this. All right. So we have our little red flags, we have our yellow ones, and then let me cut out the Disney one. And then we'll put it together and then we'll add some stickers. All right, so when you're doing your um, little, if you're using your actual Enchanted, you can move it around more and kind of figure out exactly where you want it to go. Or the one, there is a printable available that is not movable. Um, she already put this frame on there for you. And then you guys saw my struggle on the last one. I'm not very good at drawing these like lines on, but we'll do our best. Um, I need like a tutorial on how to do that. Do you guys have any tips on how to draw the lines without going crazy? Anyway, all right, here we go. So then you're just gonna cut it out and then distress it and then add the little banner lines just to kind of make it have that movement and the templates come with those guides for that. And then we're gonna layer it all together and then add some stickers. All right, I love this little black and white polka dot kind of scallop. I was thinking of adding that somewhere, but I'm not sure exactly where. But we're, we're gonna see, we'll figure it out together. Okay. Oh, I feel like, sorry guys, I'm cutting off camera. That's not very helpful, is it? Okay, so now we have this one. Let's distress it. I wish I had almost like a pen, the color of my distressing ink, right? So that when I made the lines, it would kind of blend with the other parts, but I do not have that. I always feel like a, I could maybe use a pencil, I don't know. The printable, it's actually in the comments section, uh, not the comments, the captions. So at the very top, if you go to where it says like three, two, one, let's create. Uh, countdown together. If you open that, there's a link for the snap frame. And then there's also the um, printable. Okay, guys, I'm going to try to just like use a pencil this time. I don't know if it'll look any better or worse, but um, I don't know. It's hard for me to say what's going to be best. Okay, I did it. See, I just feel like the black is too harsh. I really do need like a brown colored pencil or something. The last one, I think it kind of turned out crazy looking. Here we go. I'll just try to do it a little bit lighter. Not as heavy handed. Who's an expert at drawing these lines and can give me tips? Okay, that worked out okay. Is there a Disney World banner? No world, it just says land, but I can ask Susan if she can make another one. Um, I had people write in the comments of before if they, what other countdowns they would count down to, like Thanksgiving or whatever. So I can say world instead, because I guess for all you Florida people, it would make some more sense for it to say Disney world, not land. or even just people who are like, no, I prefer Disney World. 
I've actually never been to Disney World. When we went to Florida, we went to Harry Potter Land, but we didn't go to Disney World. Okay, so let's get our plastic, our place mat, so we know the placement of everything. And get rid of these for a second. So, oh, I think someone tried to just call me or something. I usually try to put my phone on. Do not disturb, but I might have forgotten. Okay, so, oh. man hold on sorry guys when i have someone call me it pauses my camera hopefully it'll come back let me see these will go here okay sorry guys i'm back i don't know it looks like it's sideways now oh my goodness hold on one second See if I can fix this. Ooh, my phone has me sidewise. Hold on. There we go. Okay. Sorry, guys. When someone calls me, it um, kicks you guys off, but I fixed the camera. So, okay. <laughs> so I'm using the placemat to kind of. Um, this where I want to put this. So I'm gonna go ahead and just make a little bit of a mark because I really like how they have this lined up. And that way I know where I want my banner to be. So then I'm gonna take the placemat away and I am gonna glue this down. Like I said, you don't have to, like you could literally make everything magnetic, different pieces, but I am going to make this like a, a stationary piece. And then um, that way I can show you kind of two ways you could do it. So I'm just centering this and then I'm going to put this guy down here. And then I'm going to put these red ones like this. See, with like the layering, so cute. Okay. It's like banners on banners on banners. <laughs> Okay, so we'll put this one here. And then this one on the other side. Okay, and then, so like that. And then I would probably use, oh, hold on, my husband's gonna talk to me. Hey honey, I'm doing a, a Facebook thing. Do you need something? Uh, no, I just was trying to get a hold of you for a while. I'm letting you go on so far. Okay, I'll call you after I'm done. I should be done in um, maybe like 20 minutes, okay? If you can take a minute. What? Take a break. I have some kind of delivery I don't really want. So oh, I already, is it the box? I already got it. Like you guys, sorry for this. Just call me after this. I already got it. Okay. Well, now you guys, um, my husband called me on the Alexa because I didn't answer his phone call, but luckily for him, I already got his package. So, all right. So did you want to try to put this castle in here? What do you guys think if the castle is kind of like but down behind this? I might even cover the words just because it's like maybe too many words. I'm gonna do the castle like you so, like so. What do you guys think? Ooh. Maybe I'll put it right here. I don't know. I think it needs to show more. Um hold on. Oh. Okay. All right. Okay. Like that. And then, um, maybe we'll do like a little heart. 
think that the color is wrong. What do you guys think? I could do like the little red star could be cute. To poke out all the center pieces. I need you guys to tell me stickers, like more stickers, less stickers. It's kind of hard because the words are so busy. But once we put our numbers up, it will make it a little bit more, you know, less busy, I guess you could say. Hold on, I'm going to try to add this little red um, star, but I have to poke out all the stickers. So just give me a sec. All right, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments how you're feeling about our countdown to Disney. Uh, we could put like this little guy right here. Kind of just continue what's happening up there. And I do have this, I was thinking about putting this Mickey Mouse ear situation. Like on the side of the numbers. So it'd be like, kind of like this, like the number. And then this would be kind of coming out of here. Almost like this. What do you guys think? Is that like just too close to the edge? I don't know. Because if we have this number here, we wouldn't really be able to see the castle unless I move the castle out more, which I could do. What are you guys thinking? I need to, I really like the mouse here, maybe even more than the castle. So let me see what I can do with the castle. Maybe I'll move the castle over to the other side. Oh man. Sticker life. Don't be too sticky. The sticker doesn't throw anything. Okay, not too bad. So then let's look at this. So if we have the three here and the zero, so they can go kind of in the center. Then I could see about maybe doing the castle kind of over here. What do you guys think? Do you like the ear better? Or do you like the, the, the castle more? I guess I could try to put the castle down here. So it's like more of like just silhouette kind of like this and then cut off the bottom. So it's just like the top of the castle turrets. Let me look and see what I think on the picture. I also have, let's see, we have like a little camera. We have like an admission ticket. We have this M. Okay, so Kathy likes the ear. Me too. I like the ear best too, more than the castle. I have like say cheese. I have a little bow, mini mouse bow. Do you guys think ditch the castle or I like the castle overlapping the zero best? balances it. So you think like castle on this side. All right, let me see if I can put, I could like kind of cut the castle a little bit. So it's more like this. And then let me see what I think about that. Kind of like under a little bit. Disneyland, where all your dreams come true. What do you guys think? You like it? I could put like this thing that says so much fun, like down here under Disneyland. I feel like this could use something right here. Okay, yeah, I think we can do the castle. Okay, so let's do it like this. Here we go. It'll be underneath this stuff. And the zero will be there. So we're looking at like that right there. It's okay. Covering that little banner piece. And then I'm just gonna cut this part off. I don't know, that's a terrible idea, but it's happening. I just feel like. And then 
So let me have this kind of centered. Countdown to Disney. And then I am gonna maybe put a heart. Oops. Happiness starts. What do you guys think? I think the word sticker may compete too much with the pattern paper. Oh, this one, say cheese. Okay, that's a good valid point. Okay, so then we've got this little kind of frame for our numbers like this. What do you guys think? Pretty good. I feel pretty like it's pretty good. Let me see. I have to wait for the camera to catch up so I can see what it looks like for you guys. So I like it. I think maybe if I were to like custom make this, like maybe I would make my numbers a little smaller, but for general, if I just had like the same numbers I was using all the time, I think it's pretty cute. And um, I would probably just like maybe move these up just a little bit just so you can see the happiness banner. If I wanted to be a little more detailed, I might add a couple more little stickers, um, like maybe like a heart or something just to kind of break up the solid banner. But you can also keep it pretty simple. I'm gonna take this star off um, and keep this whole yellow piece just a little more solid. But yeah, I like it. I think it's really fun and magic. It's very magical. Um, okay, so then we're done with another one. So then let me show you how this would work. So you would take your frame and you would snap in your board. Oh, sorry, let me glue down this one piece. I forgot about it. We're gonna glue our placemat down. So like I, and I'll show you guys for those, if you are just joining, I'll show you the other one we made too. Um, just one last time. Okay, so I'm just gonna center this. Okay on the black. And so there's two ways you could do this. You can literally make the whole thing kind of like one big piece, just like this one. And then I have my metal. So technically, if you were just gonna move your numbers, you'd only need like one of these metal washers behind it. You can also use sheets of metal like this. However, the reason I didn't use this is because I didn't have a way to cut it. When I tried to cut it with some um, like metal shears, it left a really jagged edge. So these washers worked out perfectly and they're not very expensive. So if you're only moving one element, you don't need the whole thing. The reason I put them everywhere is so I could move all the elements if I wanted to. So for this design, I would just have this one piece and this was, um, this is a snap frame that we sell in our shop. So you literally just snap it in. I need to trim my black paper just a little bit more. It's a little too big. And then it will hold it in place. Um, you can also, if you're having a hard time getting your um, backboard to stay in, you can just trim just the corners just so that these metal pieces will stick better to the internal magnets, which are in each of the corners. But if it's pretty thin, you don't usually need to do that. So you would just snap this in like that and then this will like sit on your shelf and then every day you would have your numbers and I did two back to back and they literally just stick on here because they're they have magnets inside so like I'm trying to do it so you can see that they stick and so then you would just place your um, little countdown and you'd be like 30 days 30 days happiness starts, countdown to Disneyland. Pretty freaking cute. And then you could put like a little, like other Mickey Mouse stuff you have, and you could have like your kids can move the numbers and they um, could switch it now. It's only 20 days and you could make your numbers. These are um, the same size as the three by four um, picture map, but you could also make your numbers a little bit smaller too. And I used this larger magnet um, because I wanted it to, to have that stick between the layers of paper, right? So you can see how that really sticks on there. 
and then you just set it up and then you just move them super cute and then for those that just got here i'll show you guys the other one we made which is for summer so you just pop this back piece off and move this piece out and then this is our summer one and so for this one we just kept it really simple and we made all of the embellishments magnetic and they actually move so so it's not So you would just add the different pieces. So you could put your banner this magnetic. So you could put that there. You could put your little fish kind of jumping. You can move it around as much as you wanted. And then you would use your same numbers for the next month. So you could be like 30 days to summer. And then you could be like 20 days and you can move them. And there's enough numbers that we provided with the printable that you can um, have enough numbers, but you don't have like, you have enough numbers to create a 30 day countdown. So you can see the difference there where there's more moving parts, which could be really fun and interactive, or like this one, you would make just a solid background and only have the numbers change. So there you guys go. There's the countdown calendar. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I'm gonna make a couple more. So the printable actually has Countdown to Christmas, countdown to your birthday, and countdown to vacation. And yeah, if you guys love it, comment um, with the different kind of countdowns you would want and let me know. And I will see if I can get Susan to make some more banners for us. And I would love to see what you guys make with it. So make sure you, um, if you decide to make one, make sure you either leave it in the comments or you know, just share it in the play to create group and tag me. I'm Lindsay, creative partner, Lindsay Smith. So anyway, thanks so much for creating with me. It was a really fun one and just see how quick they are. And I love to just design these for my home decor. And so hopefully you guys enjoyed our little creation, creating time together. And I can't wait to see what you guys make. Countdown to baby. That's such a good idea. I love that idea. Okay. Can't wait, can't wait to see what you guys make. Thanks again for tuning in. I hope you guys have an awesome night. Happy Thursday. <laughs>